In an effort to get a new contract, hundreds of Wrigley Field workers could walk off the job and soon. And today, some of the 700 employees are meeting in Wrigleyville to prepare for a strike. Fox 32's Gabriella Primus is live in Wrigleyville to explain what they're asking for. Natalie Scott, the same people that typically serve those famous Wrigley hot dogs and ice cold beer might not be the same people during this upcoming game. A week ago, Wrigley concession workers employed by Compass Levy voted to authorize a strike. Today, they will start preparing for that strike that could happen at any time. Workers plan to sit outside of the field to assemble signs, tape off a possible picketing area, and start practicing chants and drumming. Workers at Wrigley Field are seeking a $20 per hour minimum to expand health care coverage and want a pension. They have also been working without contracts for three years. In a statement sent to Fox 32, Levy says it's baffled by Unite Here One's decision to turn down its current offer, saying in part, the propo this proposal includes immediate wage increases up to 30% with non-tip positions earning at least $20 per hour, as well as the introduction of an additional tip guarantee for tip positions. It also includes significantly expanded health care and enhanced benefits, end quote. But Unite Here One says that's not enough. Well, we want the pension. They're straight up not trying to give it to us. And that's one reason, one of the things that we are really standing for, because people who worked here for a numerous amount of years deserve that. Last month, the White Sox employees stood in solidarity with Wrigley Field as they fought for a similar contract. Levy says if a strike does occur, then there is a plan in place for food and beverage service. Live in Wrigleyville, Gabriela Primus, Fox 32, Chicago. All right, thank you, Gabby.